If you want to travel Europe in your favorite truck in triple screen Nirvana, I'm afraid you're going to have to pay attention to this tutorial because it is a little bit complicated. However, I'm here to guide you through. You're going to need to use NVIDIA Surround, so I'm going to show you how to use that. We'll look at how to calculate your correct field of view, how to measure all the angles and things on your monitors correctly, and more importantly, how to put that information straight into Euro Truck Simulator 2 in order to make sure that you get the absolute best experience possible. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Corrected Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy, and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width and height. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. Essential calculations for Euro Truck Simulator 2. So before we do anything within the game itself, we're gonna to need to use this calculator to input some values to get some other values. Now, I can't take any credit to this. This is from a Reddit user called A1337Cookie, who has obviously put a lot of time and effort into this, doing the mathematical calculations behind the scenes in a spreadsheet. However, I'm gonna take you through it. Massive thank you once again, and this is gonna enable us to hit our triple screen Nirvana within the game itself. 
As you can see here, we've got a box to enter both monofill angle degrees, screen width, screen height, left bezel width, right bezel width, and perpendicular eye distance. Now it is important to use the same units throughout, otherwise it won't calculate correctly. So if you're using millimeters, use millimeters throughout. If it's centimeters, centimeters throughout. Or if it's inches, inches throughout. As you can see here, we've used centimeters. So we'll just run through this quickly. My monitor angle, as we calculated earlier, is 60 degrees. That's for the left and right monitor. The screen width is 72.7 for both the center, left and right. Screen height is 43 centimeters for all of them. And the bezel width on the blue boxes, that's where you want to enter it, is 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Obviously, this will change depending on what you calculated for your setup and your monitors. My perpendicular eye distance is 62 centimeters. Once you put all of those in, you're going to be let delivered these orange figures below, giving you heading offset, horizontal FOV override, vertical FOV override, frustrum subrect X, frustrum subrect Y, frustrum subrect width, and frustrum subrect height. Gotta be careful how you say that. How to input the data into Euro Truck Simulator 2. In order to get Euro Truck Simulator 2 working with our triple monitors, we need to do some work behind the scenes because unfortunately there is no in-game menu option to input these figures. First of all, you're going to want to locate your Euro Truck Simulator 2 file. This should be within your PC and your documents folder. Head down to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now at this point, we need to make the file multimon config appear. Now this won't appear by default. In order to get this to appear, you need to head to your configuration file right click this and open this with notepad you'll be met by this screen now you want to head to the section below which says multi-mon mode you'll notice it says number two here this is the final setting you'll need to set it to you need to set this to number four you then need to save this go into the game get out of the game and then come back here and then you'll find a new file created it's important that once you've completed everything within your triple screen setup to go back to this configuration file and change this back to number two, otherwise it won't appear correctly. As you can see here, we've now got a file called multi-monitor config. Here we can enter this by right clicking and opening this with notepad. Here you can see we're met by figures for our monitor config for both our center monitor, our left monitor, and if we scroll down here, our right monitor. If we bring up our calculated values, and I'll display them here that we calculated before, we've simply got to enter them in here, and I'll show you where to do this. What I suggest doing is doing this monitor by monitor and simply following the results along within the orange boxes to make sure that you don't miss anything. So with our center monitor, we need to make sure that our heading offset is set to zero. As you can see here, our horizontal FOV override is 60.765367. Now what I recommend doing is right-clicking this, copying it and then pasting it directly into this configuration file. Our vertical FOV override is 38.250452 and so on and so forth. You want to do this again for the left monitor. As you can see, we've inputted all the figures in here. I'm not going to go through them all because it's like watching paint dry. And if we scroll down, we can also see we've inputted these for the right monitor. Make sure you do absolutely all of the figures in orange. And once this is done, select file and save. How to remove the steering wheel for maximal immersion. I'm a big believer in increasing immersion and one of the ways I do that is by removing the steering wheel in game. It's a personal preference and you can do that in Euro Truck Simulator 2. To do this, you need to head to your documents folder once again and open the Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder. From here, you want to head to Steam Profiles, double click this and then double click your profile. Here, you want to add, um, enter your config local file. Now you want to double click this or right click it and open it with notepad. Now from here, you want to locate the option which says steering wheel. Now you'll notice it says zero here because I've already changed it. This will be set by default to one for you, which means it's displaying the wheel. Simply set this to zero, go to file, go to save, close it, and you can head straight back into the simulator and the steering wheel will be gone. How to set the resolution. Once we've booted up Euro Truck Simulator 2, we do need to make sure that our display is set correctly. So from the main menu, you want to head to Options. From here, you want to look at your resolution. Now you just need to make sure that this is set to your bezel corrected resolution, which we calculated at the start of the video. In my case, it's 7768 by 1440. And for me, I think this works a lot better if full screen mode is set to off, but obviously that's personal preference for yourself. From here, you can click Escape and then simply boot up the simulator. How to adjust 
the seating position. The final thing we can tweak in Euro Truck Simulator 2 is our seat position, which helps optimize our position within the cockpit. From here, you want to click F4, and that will bring up your vehicle adjustment menu. Here you want to click adjust seats, and here you can adjust your head position, you can adjust your seating position. Now you'll notice we've already set our field of view within the config file itself, so this doesn't do anything, so don't worry about that too much. We've removed the steering wheel, but if you wish, you can change the steering wheel tilt, and you can also change your pitch of your field of view. And that really is it. And here we have it, the final result, and a beautiful view of the highway. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to cover any other triple screen setup videos. Click here if you want to hit my triple screen setup playlist for other triple screen setup videos. And if you found value in this, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button. As always, take it easy and keep on trucking.